everybody, this is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson and today I've got three more fun and easy riffs for you from ACDC. Right now Guitar Control is giving away this really cool free chord chart. Uh, it's in PDF format and it's every chord you can ever need all neatly compiled into one sheet, really well organized. So just any chord you could ever need at a glance. Uh, it's a free download, so download it, print it off, put one where you practice, throw one in your gig bag, so you can just have any chords you could ever need at a glance, and it's a free download, just click the link. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at these. Alright, so the first one we're going to look at is uh, the riff from Chase the Ace. So, this one isn't too terribly tough, we've got um, a couple of chords, we've got this C add 9. Uh, third fret of the A string, G string is open, and third fret of the B string. That's my third finger in the A string. I'm using my second finger. So we start off, we rest on one. So we have one, two, on the end of, or excuse me, on the downbeat of two, we play the open A string. And then on the end of two, we go to the C add nine which also takes care of the downbeat of uh, three. Then to a D. So what's nice is that your third finger can just stay planted right there. So to a regular D, and we hit that on the uh, and of four, and then it's tied to the downbeat of one of the second measure. So. Oh, excuse me, I, I, I missed one missed one chord there. So we do the open, C add 9, D, and then to a, on the end of 4 we go to an A5. So I'm just barring the second fret of the D and the G string with my first finger and the A string is open. So we hit that and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and we just start pedaling the A string, palm muted. So then the, uh, um, the third measure is the same as the first measure, except instead of resting on that first uh, beat, we, we're pedaling still. Okay, so then on the fourth measure, it's the same as the second, but instead of just his eighth notes, it's like one and two and three and four and. Okay, and then we go on to the fifth measure. This is where we start to change a little bit. We're still on the A. So one and two, and then on the and of two, we go to the C add nine, to the D to the A, and then this time we're going to do this G, but it's basically just, it's just the G and B string open in the third fret of the uh, of the high E string. I'm going to use my third finger, because then we go to, to a D, so it's like, so we hit this D on the end of four, and then it is tied to, um, or actually that's a 2-4 bar, so it's on, it's the and of 2, technically. But that's tied to uh, the uh, next measure, all of it, except on the uh, the and of 4, where we're going to hit the C add 9 again. So we've got this on. Hit the C add 9. And that's on the and of four, and it's tied to all of the next measure except on the and of four again. So to a G5. So I'm just gonna put my second finger here on the third fret of the low E, and then I'm gonna let that finger kind of droop so it mutes the A string, and then the D and G strings are open. Back to the C add nine, D, A5, and then it just kind of loops around. Next one we're going to look at is the riff from uh, Code Red. Uh, this one's uh, pretty easy. 
So we're going to start off with that same A5 that we did um, on the last song. So we do this, it's two sixteenth notes and then an eighth note. And then we rest on uh, beat two. One and two. Then we go to that G5, just like the one we did in the last one. Third fret of the low E that mutes the A string and then the D and G string are open. Same thing. So we've got one and two, three and four. Then start, so that's the first measure. And then starting on the second measure, we've got um, a D over D over F sharp. So uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. We, we actually go from that G5, and then you could just go to like this with the D and then use your thumb here. But what I find easier to do personally is I go from the G, I just leave my third finger right there where it is, and then I'm going to move the note here on from the third fret of the low E to the second fret with my first finger and simultaneously drop my middle finger to pick up the second fret of the G string. So you got to an A. And that comes in on the and of two, and then it's tied to a half note, so it takes up beats three and four. So that's the first two measures, and then the second two measures are the same as the first two, and then the whole thing just repeats. So that's like the whole, like whole main riff. All right, and then the last one I'm going to look at is a riff from a Flick of the Switch. So this one starts off. You guessed it, that same A5 chord again. Uh, we're going to hit this. It's a dotted quarter note. So it's one, two, and then on the and of two, we're going to go to a C5. So third fret of the A string with my first finger and the fifth fret of the D and G string with my third and fourth finger. Or you could do it like this, whatever is more comfortable for you. So one, two, and, and we come to the C5. And we're hitting that on the and of two, and it's it's a quarter note, so it's the and of two plus the downbeat of three. So one, two, and three, and, and then on the and of three we hit just the open A string, and then on the downbeat of four it's a D five. So it's just like a regular D chord. We just don't want this note on the high E string. So we hit that on the downbeat of four, and then it's tied to um, the downbeat of one of uh, the second measure. So, so far we've got... So. All right, so when we hit this, and it's, like I said, it's tied to the downbeat of one, one, and then starting on the end of one, we've got this little uh, little run here, a little chromatic run, and it's all eighth notes. So it's starting on the end of one. So we're going to start at the first fret of the low E string, and we're going to go one, two, three, four. So we're just going from the first, second, third, and fourth frets with the first, second, and third fingers. So this is and two and three. And then on the end of three, we're going to go to the second fret of the A string. And then on the downbeat of four, third fret, and of four back to the second fret, and then the whole thing just repeats. So you got to... So there you have it, three more fun, not too terribly difficult riffs to play from ACDC. So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar-related topics. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.